Gore Bamford and Jojo Mason are in Calgary tonight playing a show over at Ranchman's Cookhouse and Dance Hall. The door is open at 4 o'clock and the show kicks off at 8.30 in our Calgary studios for the first time ever. My good friend Jojo Mason. What's going on, brother? My man. You How's know it's going? good to see you, brother. You too. You know it's good to see you. <laughs> I was excited when that show was originally uh, put out there because uh, you're a good guy, man. Really good guy. Thank and you, uh, in the last four years, you've really come a long way, man. Yeah. You know what? It's been, it's been a journey, man. Last four years, and it's been good. A lot, a lot of good. A lot of tough. Right. A lot of tough times, like most things in life, but... Man, you stay positive and good things happen, man. And I'm so, I feel so blessed every day that this is what I get to wake up and do every day, man. So it's, I wouldn't change nothing. <laughs> For our new CJW listeners in Calgary, I mean, you started out playing hockey. You got hurt. Yeah. And so how did you make the transition from hockey into in country music? It wasn't intentional right out the gate. I'll tell you that. It was a, uh, a at first, what I thought was luck turned into fate man i met uh i met a, a guy who was a producer at a christmas party after doing you know months of rehab on my on my back after my injury in hockey man and um me and this guy hit it off and he gave me a shot and i, I took it and i ran with it man and you know it, the transition was no no different I'm a competitive guy. I, I like to I like to win. My team didn't win a lot, <laughs> but <laughs> but I was a competitive guy. And taking what I learned and the thing, the skills and the you know the the compassion that I learned um, in the game of hockey, I, I took that and I'm implemented it in in music. And I feel like you know that's working for me. It's working for me, man. You know, four top 10 tracks under your belt, uh, numerous awards and hosting duties at the CCMAs. If you could pick one, JoJo, <laughs> what's been a career highlight so far? Oh, you know what? I never thought I would ever get a chance to travel the country and, and, and play shows while I'm doing it. Mm. And um, I got an opportunity last January to go out on the road for uh, a month with James Barker. And, and the band and uh, my girl Meg and Patrick as well. So that was a highlight. Now, the fact that I get to go around the country twice in <laughs> one year, right, bro? Yeah. This is this is a highlight, man. This whole year has been an, an incredibly, an incredibly yes, challenging, but my. God, it's been the best, man. Right it's been so, so, so good. I can't just name one thing. This this whole year has been has been fantastic, homie. You're on tour right now with Gord Bamford. You actually got into Calgary this morning, right? That's right. That's Showed cool. up. Showed uh, up. You're playing a show <laughs> at the Ranchman's. Uh, how did you and Gord cross paths? It was so weird, man. Um, so at the CCMAs in London, London, Ontario, um, I was invited to do the uh, to the kickoff party, Jack Daniels kickoff party, and Gord was hosting it. And... Uh, he asked if we, me and a couple other artists would come up on stage and, and uh, sing a song with him at the end of it. And uh, I was like, uh, yes, <laughs> dude, I've been a fan. I mean, I'm trying not to fangirl a little bit, you know. But uh, I'm, I'm like, yeah, of course I'll do it, bro. Hell, hell yeah, I'll do yeah. it, man. And, uh, and we you know, took, took us out for dinner afterwards. And, and uh, oh, my God, he kept calling me his brother from another mother, man. We hit it off, me and this guy. I'll tell you, too, one thing he said to me, because I got a single called Red Dress. He looks at me in front of everybody and says, listen, Jojo, you're my brother from another mother, but I had the first Red Dress song. I was like, oh, man. Okay, you got me. You got me, bro. And we've been buddies since, man. And he just messaged me out the blue uh, a couple of months ago and was like, man, why, why, why don't you come on? Why don't you come on? And uh, if you got nothing going on this fall, why don't you come out and and uh, tour tour with tour the country with me? I was like, fine. I, guess I have to. <laughs> Yo, twist my arm a little bit more, bro. Yeah. So how long are you guys on tour for together? So we today is day one. I haven't even seen him yet. I came, is that right, I came eh? straight. I came straight here from the airport. Good man. And um, we're gone for two months. Wow. So he is stuck. <laughs> He is stuck with me for two months. Oh, boy. <laughs> when you're out and about, do you, do you like to write a, some of your own music? Or what, what, do you, what do you do on the road? You know what? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. When I was with uh, Megan Patrick and the guys, it was, it was really busy. 
It was yeah. a really hectic schedule, but we got a couple of pockets, a couple of day, you know, day driving because we're driving the whole the whole way, right? No flying, so we're gonna have a couple of pockets where uh, we're gonna have some time to kill. And I, I know that these guys, then Gord's band, are incredible musicians. Yeah. So 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 talented. So I so I told one of Ryan Davis, I told Ryan, I said, listen, man, I am the worst guitar player. Okay, I need to not suck so bad. So you got to help me. So I'm going to sit his butt down uh, any chance I can get. And I'm going to get him to teach me and see if we can write some good, right write on. some good, good together, man. Right, make some magic, you know, got see, it. see what we can come up with. So, yeah, I think Excellent. that's, I hope, I'm hoping writing is going to be a big <laughs> part of this, big part of this tour for me. Uh, Jojo Mason joining us on CJWE. He alongside Gord Bamford playing a show at uh, Ranchman's Cookhouse and Dance Hall. It's going to be a great show tonight. It's going to be the best, man. I can't wait. You know, uh, I was hosting the morning show on our sister station at Edmonton. You were, of course, uh, awesome enough to come in a few times. One thing I did not ever do with you, and I regret it, was five questions. Uh-oh. You good for that? <laughs> oh, Let's man. do it. Hit me, baby. <laughs> You like that? I do. Huh? Mission Impossible for you? <laughs> oh, All right. It, rapid Fire with Canadian country singer JoJo Mason. Wait, 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 wait. Do I get to answer one one word answers? Yeah. Keep it short. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite food? Uh, burgers and pizza. Oh, yum. Country artist you would love to perform with one day? Uh, Mitchell Tenpin. Oh, yes. You're a big hockey fan. Favorite team? Keep Colorado. in mind you're in Calgary. Colorado Avalanche. You're a Colorado man. fan? I have been a Colorado Avalanche fan since I was five. five wow. I, I was five when they moved to Colorado from Quebec. This is a question <laughs> I think I can only get away with asking you. Okay. <laughs> Name a question that a TV or radio station has asked you that either irks you or makes you feel very uncomfortable. Oh, God. Um... Can I tell what a fan said to me once? What a fan Is it clean? Uh, it was funny. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I, <laughs> I'm, on I'm on stage about to perform a show one day, and some guy comes up to me, and I was in the middle of nowhere, okay? And this guy comes up to me and says, Hey, boy, what are you doing on that stage there? I said, well, I'm, I'm going to play some, play some music for you. So, oh, ho, ho, what kind of music? Is it that rap music or that hippie hop? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I mean, by the look of me, I'm sure that's what you would gather, but I'm about to play some country music for you. He laughed and laughed and laughed and then walked away. Oh, uh, that's too funny, like, okay, man. Okay. okay. <laughs> Final question, Jojo, yeah, out of uh, Rapid Fire. When you first heard It's All Good, your first ever song that you released, uh, where were you? I was driving on my very first uh, radio tour. Uh, 2015, and uh, I was driving. I'm pretty sure it was from Lethbridge to, oh goodness, it might have even been to Edmonton from Lethbridge because that's that's not that's about bridge the gap, right? right. Um, we were on the road and we were going from city to city to city, begging people to play to play our jam, and and uh, and I was on the road, man. I remember the first day I came into that uh, through those speakers in that car, homie. Oh my goodness. It yeah. was magic, dude. Almost a tear in my eye. I called my mom right away after. She's, oh, baby, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yeah. You know, Jojo Mason joining us. His brand new song is called Future, and I love this song, man. Um, tell us all about it. This one was a, a dream of mine to be able to record. Um, I heard this song first while I was on tour with Megan uh, and James Barker, uh, a friend of hers. Um, sent her the song, said, I want you to check it out, see what you think. And uh, she showed me, and I had that thing on repeat for months. So I called her up. I said, man, what do you, th what do, what do you think the chances of your friend, um, you know, letting me, letting me cut this song? I, I, I get the feels every time I hear it. It just means so much to me. It makes me feel like there's a whole lot going on in my future that I can't wait for. What do you think the chances are? She said, one second, let me ask him. So she puts the phone down. <laughs> puts the phone down asked him. He said, but my man's sitting right next to him. And, and uh, he called me right away and was like, yeah, man, 100%. I'd, I'd love for you. I'd be honored for you to cut. I said, shoot, are you kidding me? So that's how that song came about, man. I was 
through the moon, through the roof, ecstatic. I, I, even now, I still listen to it, man. And it's one of those ones that I think it's my best work yet. Good. I'm so proud of it. And I'm so, so, so excited. This is one that I picked full wholeheartedly. And, and I'm just hoping everybody feels the same way. You know what I mean? Uh, Jojo Mason with us. He, he and Gord Bamper are playing a show tonight at Ranchman's Cookhouse in uh, Dancehall. Doors open at 4 o'clock and the show kicks off at 8.30. Always good seeing you, my friend. Brother, it's always good to see you too, man. One of the traditions we do whenever Jojo comes in and he has a brand new song, get over here, man. Uh-oh. You know the routine. Uh-oh. He's got to hit play on the song. That's got to be like Jeremy Jojo thing. Here's yeah, the mouse. Where's the mouse? What am I Click doing? right there. There it is. Jojo Mason and Future on CJWA.